Angelic Warrior 37 here and today I am doing the Indian Healing Clay Mask. I got bentonite clay for the first time for my hair and also for my face. It's supposed to um, help exfoliate the hair. It's a lot of properties to this. You can brush your teeth with it as a teeth whitener. It's supposed to help heal um, eczema, acne, um, any type of scalp ailments you may have. So I need to do a detox of my hair for a long, I wanted to do one for a while, but never got around to it. But here's my chance to use this. I've seen a lot of naturalistas here use this and use other types of bentonite clay. So this is my first time, you know, you're going to get to see me using this for the first time. And I'm going to use it with just apple cider vinegar, just a little bit of that and some water. Um, as far as I know, there's plenty of videos on how to use this and all many uses of this clay you can check it out on youtube um as far as i know if you just mix this with vinegar alone it turns um it's like a thicker paste but if you want more of a um, looser consistency you just add water so i'm gonna show y'all why i mix it so i'm using this old bowl here don't worry guys it's clean it's just old i'm gonna use this for my face this for my hair um I, you guys will get, um, get to see me apply it I'm going to use this plastic spoon because from what my understanding is, you're not supposed to use metal spoons or containers because it's supposed to change the effect of the clay. Um, it won't be as effective or it's supposed to, it's, it'll do something um, negative. So it's best, it's better to use it plastic containers. Now I'm going to take this water. It's like this warm water. I'm going to put some on my face as I'm mixing it. I'm going to take my wedding ring off because I don't want nothing to happen while I'm doing this process so I'm gonna put a little bit at a time this is what it looks like you got them get to see it has no smell to it at all it's like flour I'm gonna spoon I'm using this for my hair and my face Gotta get some more of this vinegar. I'm just gonna pour a capful. Not gonna use a lot of vinegar because it's gonna run out. I'm gonna use mostly water for this. Mm, with the vinegar, it has like a little, maybe that with the vinegar I smell it has like a little smell to it. What I'm gonna do, you guys, I'm gonna take this in here and use it to stir it. It's like mud, actually. You really don't need a lot. I'm gonna spoon in two more. And I also got this from Amazon, you guys. I got this product from Amazon. I believe you could get it in Whole Foods. I'm going to put one more um, cap full of vinegar, and that's it with the vinegar. So, I don't think I need any more clay. Let's lock that off. Ooh, it's very thick, as you can see. Stir that in well. Like I said, you don't really need to use a lot of this from what I can see. Oh, damn. I think this is exactly why I put this on the table. It's messy. <laughs> it's messy, as you can see. I'm gonna rub that into my skin. And I'll be right back. Okay, I mixed it the best way I could. Uh, I forgot to bring my spray bottle, so I'm gonna wet my hair with this. I 
didn't detangle my hair. My, my fingers detangled it uh, a few days ago. And then I re twisted the bunch. You see, I re twisted it. Partner with my wife again. I hear that it's hard to get it out your scalp. Um, so I'm gonna try not to put too much of it on my scalp. Probably because I put more water in it. So. Seems like it's elongating my hair. The real test is when I get up here because this is the kinkiest part of my hair. Rub it in my scalp. From the hair. What's how does my hair look? Let's see. Um, it seems like it's like elongating. Like it's unloading in my hair. Doing a light detangle. Okay. Let's do the next section. Wow, it does. It seems like it stretches the hair out. I might have to add some more in there. So it does seem like it elongates the hair. It's easy to detangle. It tangles very easily. Rubbing it in the scalp from the hair. Let me put a little bit more. And I thought a single detangle fairly, fairly easy with this. What if I didn't make it pliable? I'm gonna put it in this section here. This is the kinkiest part of my hair. This this area here. Put some water in it. Don't bind too much out of the frame. This is the kinkiest part of my hair. Let me move this one out of the way. The real test is here. <laughs> See how it is now. Just put a little bit of water in it. And the mud is coming off the brush pretty, you know. Pretty easy, probably because, like I said, I add some water in it. Okay. 
go up that in my scalp a little bit. It's still no scent, just a little scent from the vinegar. That's about it. Look at that. It stretched it out. And it, the tingle. It's got that little tingle there. Let me put a little bit of more in it. That's what it is to me, it's mud. <laughs> it looks like mud. Wow. Y'all see that? So it does elongate your hair. I'm just rubbing in the scalp just a little bit. Because I hear it's hard to get out the scalp. So I'm just going to rub it in from the hair. Instead of applying it directly to the scalp. Wow. This is how the rest is looking. So I'm going to apply this to my own head. And face. And I'll be right back. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Well, I'm back you guys. I finished applying it to my hair. And my face, when you apply it to the face, make sure you don't get it around your eyes. Um, I already put my hair up on this side. But as you can see, it elongates. My hair is elongated. Even to the kinkiest part of my hair, if you can see it. And I still have some, like, now this was four teaspoons. You saw that little plastic spoon I had. Four teaspoons. Four of these. Now what I did, by the time I got on this side of my hair, I put a little bit more water in it. So yeah, that's why, and it made it more. So I didn't need to add more of it. I just added more water. And that's it, there's a couple of chunks in here. Um, I probably put a little bit more of this in my hair. And I'm gonna dump this in my bath because I'm gonna take a bath before I take a shower to wash this out. And- Balls do not, I repeat, do not put that clay in the tub because the moment I dumped that extra clay in the tub I stuck one foot in the tub and it felt so slippery I didn't even get in that um bath water I just went on ahead and took a shower because I did not want to fall so do not put that in your bath water I'm just saying public service announcement now back to the regular scheduled Program. I will be back to show you um, how my hair came out after I wash it. I'm basically going to wash it with um, uh, African black soap, but I'll tell you when I come back later. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys that this clay, um, after a while, you're supposed to leave it in for 30 minutes, but after a while, it will harden up. Remember, I put some on my arm earlier. It will harden up. See? It washes out, but it will harden up. Um, I put my hair up. And I noticed I took this hair down briefly to add some more clay to this side of my hair. And I noticed I had to, it was hardening up some. So I had to be really careful taking it down. So. When you're rinsing it out, if you have your hair up or twist it up or braid it up, I probably won't recommend braiding it up while you're doing this. If you have it in a twist, um, wet it first in the shower before you take it down. That's that's my suggestion because it this stuff does harden up. Other than that, it should be fine. I'll be back to show you my results. I just finished washing my hair. Um, I washed the mud all out, as you can see, it came out. It came all out. I washed my face and my hair, as you can see, it all came out. I think the more you dilute it with water, the easier it is um, for it to come out. So, it did harden up, though. It did. Hard enough, it like was really hard, but it washed out easily. My curls is popping, yes, my curls is popping. And then, right afterwards, um, I did wash my hair with the um, the African black soap, 
and then I use over cell conditioner. I use Tresemme, and that's it. I didn't need conditioner on him. So, yeah. And my hair feels soft. I plan on doing this maybe once a month or once every other month at least. Maybe every other month I'm planning on doing this. I really like it. I like the results. Um, I'm planning on doing this more often. I didn't um, get no irritations or nothing. It really doesn't have a smell to it. But just a slight smell from the vinegar like I said as I was applying it. But when you do mix it up, um, make sure you have something covering your table or your counter because it's very messy. But it, everything washed out very, very easily. My brushes, the container, it washed out very easily. So you don't have to worry about that. But the key is don't let it um, get too hard um, when you're using utensils. So. But this is the results. And I like it. I like it, like it, like it, like it. Look at the shine. It's very shiny. I don't feel no, um, like I said, I don't feel no scalp irritations or anything. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to use this as part of my um, hair regimen. I'm glad I tried it out. Oh, look at this curl right here. Oh, and by the way, I didn't use any combs. I didn't detangle the comb. My finger detangled um, in the shower. I just did some finger detangling. I could totally wear this as a wash and go. Look at the ringlets. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm truly loving it. This is curly girl friendly. Definitely. Okay. Well, I'm going to go set my hair and um, put my leave-in in. I'm planning on using my Shea Butter DIY uh, leave-in that I made. And I'm going to set my hair and braids. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Whoop. That was a blooper. Let me see. Is it on? I guess it's on. Oh, it's on.